Hey, Kathy. Tyson from Subaru of Prince George here. It was great speaking with you on the phone again this morning. So this is the entry-level Outback. So they did get a redesign for 2020. Uh, if you put them side by side with a 19, they're definitely still an Outback. So this one happens to be in the blue. I've got a couple of these of varying colors in stock. Definitely looks like the old Outback. Just the lines have changed a little bit. The back has changed a little bit. Tons of storage room in the back of the Outback. Nice privacy cover. They made a little bit of a change to the privacy cover. So one of the complaints was there's not a whole bunch of space between the top of the cover and the floor. So if you're loading something, if you just tap this down with an elbow, it actually slides up. And you can see there's quite a bit. Or of course, there's the traditional regular way to do it. Grocery bag hooks. We've got the ability to fold down the seats, just pulling a handle. Both sides do it, of course. In the second row, there is room to fit three people comfortably across. See that? And there are two USB ports if you're carrying any passengers and they have devices they need to charge. Roof racks with the built-in crossbars. They actually just pop up, flip across, and you've got them there if you need to carry anything on the roof. And these are new. These are tie-down points that are built into the crossbar setup. Up front, power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. The Outback comes with a power driver seat, including lumbar support, even in the entry-level models. These seats are super comfortable. On the inside, the left-hand side of our steering wheel has our Bluetooth and audio control, so you can adjust the volume of your music, take and make phone calls. The right-hand side has our adaptive cruise control and our lane centering assist. So new for 2020, this is a camera, this is a camera. Now, it doesn't record, but it's part of Subaru's EyeSight technology, so that does your automatic braking. When you turn on the cruise control, the little image of the Outback shows up, and you can see that there's four bars ahead of the Outback. And now there's three, two, and one. So if you catch up to someone using cruise control, you will slow down and you will match their speed and follow them at a set distance. We've also got lane centering assist, which I just turned on there. That one, about 60 kilometers an hour, so long as the lines are visible, will actually give you gentle steering input to keep you in the middle of your lane. That one's easy to turn off. It's more for highway, really easy to do. Now they've changed the dash a little. You end up with two different seven inch screens here. The top one's your radio. Bottom one is more climate controls, heated seats, fan strength. You still have tactile buttons for the temperature and heated mirrors and front windshield. Easy stuff to do. Radio you is touchscreen, but you also have tactile buttons. And you've got the home button, brings up everything else. You can change your settings from there. Put it in reverse. Backup camera pops up there. Shows you the top of your bumper so you have something to relate to. And when I turn the steering wheel, those orange lines move, show you where you're gonna end up if you keep your wheels turned that way. So very, very handy. And of course, it's an automatic transmission. You do have a manual mode where you can use these paddles, upshift and downshift to select your own gear if you'd like. So that's a brief overview of the 2020 Subaru Outback convenience. I'm Tyson Remote from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you soon, Kathy.